Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat. And Obsessed Games. Hi. And we're back for more Let's Play Skyrim on WolfRezzoWalkthroughs.com. And from the sound of what things... What are we doing today? Oh, we're going with Mercer Frey now. We're going to go kill Carlia because she betrayed the guild and she's evil and Mercer is good and on our side. And I'm just south of a place that's nowhere near Ripton. <laughs> because I can teleprot and edit. The magic of editing. Yes. One, mo one moment you're here, the next moment you're there. It's like magic. Well, I found out one thing that was wrong with uh, the setup I had. So, video quality will be improving in about seven videos, because I've already got hello. Oh, hi, dragon. Hi. Are, are you going to bother me, dragon? Are you here to bother me? <laughs> You're not showing up as hostile. No, I, I, I guess, I guess not. But anyways, I found out what was wrong with the uh, connection cables I had to my halpage unit. So I will be getting some replacement cables for my Xbox, and in seven videos, those cables will actually be used. Good stuff. So. Uh, you're going to have to put up with this video and six more that have the S video quality to them. And then after that. Hello, Wolf. Goodbye, Wolf. Nice. Right in the that butt. Was a, that was an excellent kill cam. Well, once those seven videos are up, we'll be swapping over to the better quality style. So, That's good news. Yeah. Although the quality on these are, uh, these recordings aren't too bad. Eh, not terrible, but it could be a lot better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I already got new cables for my Wii. Which, if you've been following my Cave Story Let's Play, you probably saw a sudden increase in quality. That's why. <laughs> Right Ooh, in the butt. That was, that was not a nice shot. Oh, like I ever give nice shots. <laughs> and I'll take that arrow back. Ew. <laughs> you really want that arrow back? Well, I might have to use it again at some point. Hi. Ooh, it's oh, Mike the Liar. That was also called Mike. Oh, as was Mike's father's father. At least, that is I, what Maik. his father said. Oh, Maik was he was better in Oblivion, Maik but he's still interesting away. In, uh, in Skyrim. Maik the Liar, who is there to answer forum questions from the Elder Scrolls forums. Hello. So in a very interesting way. They call us thieves and oh. smugglers. I'm glad to They're see on their way between areas. Children. Take a look. Buy my stuff. Uh, I can get rid of all these copper and ruby and copper and sapphire circlets I've made. I'm gonna start making money. Murray's ring, ring of the Meyer Square. So much stuff, and I can sell off my Thieves Guild stuff. Don't need it, no, uh oh. Well, I guess I'll keep the hood then. I would have kept it anyway. Sentimental value. <laughs> when I the hood that, for like the that. when the hood for the shadow people is better, why? Uh, what's it? 
the house in Solitude has two mannequins. Yeah. That's and I true. just like having the outfits there. Because yeah. they look so badass. That's true. But, eh. <laughs> I don't own that house, and, uh. Probably not gonna own it for a while. Fair enough. It's not exactly the cheapest of buildings. Yeah. And nope. Moving on because this place isn't on my map yet. So I've got to go there the hard way. You've got to walk a lonely road. Mm hmm. The loneliest road you've ever known. Indeed. And give enemas to goats. Told you I'd use that arrow again. You seem to be pretty consistent in where you're hitting these goats. <laughs> okay, I think here we can start heading up the mountain. There should actually be a trail here that leads towards uh, Winterhold. Hello. What are you? Ooh, you're a treasure chest. You are a treasure chest. Let's find out what's in you. Show me your secrets, you dirty girl. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Gold and steel armor. And I accidentally took the steel armor, so... Do -do -do, where is it? There it is. Take it back. Okay. Just a random tre treasure chest in the middle of nowhere. Well, it was next to a dragon mound, so there you go. Ah, uh, yes. Sneaking through the wilderness because I'm grinding my sneak. As you do. There are many people who sneak through the wilderness these days. Yep. Some of them tweet on Facebook. Some of them post on Facebook that they're sneaking through the wilderness. And they'd mm -hmm. get caught by the cops. Idiots. Yeah. And if you don't seem to notice these people sneaking through the wilderness, then uh they're just they're just really good at what they do then. <laughs> I guess so. So a good tip to know if they've been sneaking through the wilderness is if your wallet is gone by the time you walk out. Oh, hi, guys. I'm not doing anything illegal or immoral. Totally. Legion's always looking for Yet. strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters are in solitude. Well, that's good to know. Anyways... Huh. Okay. I didn't think I was near that particular fortress that the Imperials had. <laughs> oh, well, oh, hey, there's a road around it. Well, I'll take that. Fort Casta. Ow! To hell? Am I get uh oh. Um Bound Sword and Play Matronach. Ow. Honestly, these skeletons are really weak. I mean Who's at hitting higher oh. levels? How easily you kill them. Go away! <laughs> Ow! Hurting me. Seriously, so stop hurting me. Draw uh, health. Down and draw the strength. Damn it. Frost. 
Ice Rage Essence. Um, what else? Come on, where's my healing stuff? Don't need that. No. Aha! Use that. Healing! There we go. There's all my potions of minor healing, no wonder. I gotta use those up. <laughs> and good night. Hi. No. No. Please die. <laughs> It's nice that you're asking. One of these days, though. And it looks like you listened. So, so nice. Oh, since you asked so nicely, I, I will do it for you. Just this once. <laughs> okay, that should have taken care of the necromancers on the outside. Just remembered. Fort Kostub is a uh, holdout for some necromancer bandits. Garlic. And hello, Archer Skeleton. Take you out the fun way. <laughs> okay. The good way. Get oh. all. Yeah. Kill Cam. Oh, and he scores the kill. <laughs> Arrow off into the nether. Uh, uh, anyone else? No? Well, I could go through Any and clear it out, but I don't feel like it. You asking anyone else who's stupid enough to take on the Dovakin? Yeah. Which is pretty much every bandit in Skyrim. Uh. Hey, I'm a bandit. I'm wearing leather armor and using a measly little bow. I think I'm gonna go take out that guy wearing elven or ebony armor. Who seems to be able to... I don't know. Force people millions of miles away with his voice. <laughs> I'm a bandit using basic leather armor, and I'm going to take off with some basic skills at basic levels. And I'm going to take on this guy in the nightingale armor, who has the nightingale bow and the nightingale sword. Who's? He's clearly no amateur, but you know what? I I still feel good about my chances. I can clearly take him in. Who's who's watching me? Oh well. I can clearly take him on. <laughs> He's just wiped out all of my friends. I'm not gonna run away. <laughs> okay, seriously? Well. Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Ooh! Right in the shoulder. At least it's not another ass shot. Eh. Don't know how I'd manage that from the front. <laughs> A powerful enough shot, you never know. Have it sticking out the back. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. Okay, down. Oh, hello, goat! You're facing the right direction, too. <laughs> oh, right in the butt. <laughs> I, I'm starting to suspect you may be doing this on purpose. Maybe. <laughs> what do you have against ghosts? What did they ever do to you? They exist. <laughs> Hello, goat. <laughs> Turn it. Goodbye, goat. In the butt. Again. <laughs> mm. 
the goat butt cane. <laughs> oh, hello, arrow that I missed with. And you can keep that arrow. I'm not going to retrieve it. What are you? Oh, you're a wisp. Uh oh, I hate wisps. <laughs> One down. Where's the wisp mother? And that's two down. Apparently not around. Despite the fact that I'm pretty decently leveled at this point. That's surprising. I remember my, the first time I came across Wisps in uh, Skyrim, because they're pretty easy to deal with in Oblivion. Yeah. I came across them, and then suddenly this thing called a Wisp Mother decided to whoop my ass. Hi, Dunk Dead. Hi, you've never heard of me before. I'm gonna kill you now. For a second there, I thought that was an arrow. <laughs> being careful not to skyline myself and for those of you who are unaware skylining is where you go on the on the uh, ridge portion of a mountain and basically silhouette yourself to anyone who happens to be looking <laughs> it's an easy way to get shot especially if you're hunting Oh, hello. Good. Damn it. Come on. Die already. That's one. Two. Done. Sweet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doesn't look like. Oh, that's a rabbit. Very dead rabbit. Well, it only looks slightly dead to me. And hello, Mercer. We're here to help you now. There he is. There's Good. the hero of the story. Yep. Here. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. 25 years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Car Carlia what? was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. Isn't murder a Dark Brotherhood territory? I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. I'm Let's part of the away. Dark Brotherhood. I want her. Yep. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Come on, let's go kill the evil Carlia. Oh. Oh, 
I love the, the, the in Oblivion where Kristoff tells you uh, no they murdering on the job. We're not the Dark Brother. Sometimes and I just feel like raising my hand. Well, actually, I am. So <laughs> can I murder? Does that excuse me? Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how and a lot of skill. That should do it. After you. But, but didn't that require a key? Huh. Oh well. He's the true lockpick. Oh, he must have that skill at a hundred. It's badass. Yeah. Wish I could order him to pick all the locks in this place. <laughs> It'd be handy. Oh yeah, I'm sure it would. Do 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 do. It's a crypt. What did you <laughs> expect it to smell like? Roses and parsley? Uh, don't enough. see anything. Hmm. Ooh, hello, Draugr. You got a lot on you. And 11 gold in the chest. Huh. Oh, I. Wow! Draugr had no idea I was there. Now that's stealth. You know these Draugr are very quick to wake up. I know if I just got up after like a hundred years of sleep, I'd be... I'd be damn tired. I'd be stretched, I'd be stumbling over myself. Yeah, no kidding. I certainly wouldn't be able to fight anyone straight away. Right? These things kick the door off kick the lid off their coffins and just go straight at you. No. I, I gotta know what they're eating. Ugh. Souls, apparently. Alright, well, I'm gonna pick myself up some later today. Ah. Lovely. Take that gold, and I'll take that gold, and I will take that bone meal and that gold. <laughs> Always with the gold. Uh huh. Really? Not quite. What? Huh. That's odd. Talk. What do you want? Ever so slightly. And no. <laughs> that was a hell of a delay on that trap. I guess I didn't want to be too mean with you. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <sighs> Druggers are so easy to deal with. They are. Especially if you're an archer. Okay, so meal and gold. Is that... No. Okay. It's actually really easy to uh, level up your uh, archery as well. Even if you don't uh, start until later levels. Yeah. It'll build up really quickly. Although, if you really have enough lockpicks, you can pretty much just brute force your way through the lockpicking sections. <laughs> enough time and enough lockpicks will open just about any lock. Or a screwdriver and a hammer, but <laughs> you don't seem to have a screwdriver in this game. No. Okay, Ancient Nord Sword, Plan of- Ooh! That was worth getting. Mm. Maximum healing, maximum items. Nothing? And nothing. Okay. Hello, Draugr. Goodbye, Draugr. 
It's like this isn't even a challenge. Not with sneak attack damage on a bow. <laughs> this is why going rogue archer in this game is so freaking broken. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Why did I need a kill cam for that? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I just point blank the dude. But actually, I mean, I've tried being a um, stealthy assassin, and that's definitely overpowered. And then I'm a battle mage, and that's overpowered. I wonder if the war. Is everything just overpowered? Because I haven't tried the warrior. The warrior? You need a lot of healing to be a warrior. You can't hide from me. Uh, well, thank you, Mercer. That was handy of you. Not really necessary, but handy. He's got your back. I heard something. What was that? Mercer Frey getting into trouble. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I'll, I'll let you handle that, Mercer. You got it. What? He's got two dwarven swords. No, He's no. good. He's good to go. And done. Hmm. Search very learn. Gold. And gold. And crap. Eh, you're fine. Hey, a chest. Ooh! Okay, take everything but the armor. Wait for the s'mores to die down. It'd be interesting if you could blow the fire out with Kusro Da. Oh, hello. According to the in-game lore, you should be able to. I've never tried it, actually. In fact... Technically, you should be able to travel by Fusroda. Every reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. Bingo. So, you basically jump off a cliff, aim the Fusroda at the ground and slightly behind you, and just keep going. <laughs> In fact, remember that, um... Tiber Septum knocked a wall of a city down with Fusroda. I did not know that, or at least I don't remember it. That's in the lore about him. Uh. He used his voice to knock the wall of a city down, and Fusroda is the only one that does that. It's pretty badass. So the version of Fusroda that the Drogvakin is using is actually pretty tame compared to what it's capable of. I guess he, he spent some time training with those uh, Greybeards. Yeah, he did. He spent a lot of time training with the Greybeards. Oh, darn it. I you hate it when that happens. Yeah. This area is so much easier with a sniper nest. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Die. And they barely notice me. They just, they're aware that I'm there. We're being killed, but where are the arrows coming from? Shh. Yeah, I don't know. And there goes the rat. Whoa! What the hell? Come on, die already. Oh, really? You know what? Screw you then. <laughs> Garnet and gold. Guy's gonna dodge all my shots. I'll let Mercer take care of him. Where is Mercer? Oh, there he is. Taking care of, th taking care of my light work. Oh, hi. You know, it's not smart to... <laughs> I 
Mercer. Clever. Wait to wake the drone. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about the bone chimes, dude. Ooh, hello. Take those. Ooh, and three thieves. Nice. Well, I'll it's take interesting. it. It's interesting how, like, none of the people you ever travel with when you do a dragon shout are remotely surprised. Huh. They just go, yeah, I've seen it before. Nothing new. Like, oh, your dragon shout, huh? And in the butt. He deserved it. It's just like, Mercer is, just doesn't give a crap that you just cough and somebody flew soul. across the room. <laughs> yeah, Mercer, you hand her that dower white. Uh, I'm, that Draugr white. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loot bodies. <laughs> you keep doing what you're doing, I'm gonna do what and I do. And he did handle it. Orcish arrows one of mine. Uh, Orcish arrow, mine. Do, 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 do. Ooh, a whole bunch of Nord arrows. Okay, going up. Nothing really seems to... Hello. Ten gold. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, go back and search the other bodies. Wee! Punk. You can tell where the sniper nest was. If they couldn't. <laughs> And yay, more Draugr archers. Always good more for a, always good for a bunch of mid-level arrows. It's interesting to see that the currency hasn't changed since these guys were incarcerated. That's not surprising. There's pretty much always been a human empire. Hmm. Hey, uh, Mercer, would you mind taking care of my light work for me? <laughs> what, Mar uh, thanks. Thanks, Mercer. I'm sure you've killed legions of rats. <laughs> I don't care. We're here to kill Carlia. Focus, Mercer. Focus. Uh, he's too busy thinking about his past job as an exterminator. <laughs> Into Snowvale Sanctum we go. Shut up. I don't want to talk. Oh, hello. I can see a trap. Okay, he, he'll handle that side. I'll, I'll handle missing. Just charge it straight in. Thank you, Mercer. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mercer. Didn't mean to hit you like that. I remember the one time I tried to be sneaky with my uh with my battle mage and sneak through a dungeon with uh, a bow and arrow. Uh huh. I had somebody from the companions, I can't remember his name. Is the big The big guy? Who's the brother that wasn't as smart? The brute rather than the brains. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. We'll meet him later. Mm. Yeah, he kept setting every trap off. Yeah, he does that. He he's Running. terrible at that. Um, Mercer, you want to deal I with those guys that are right behind you? Nah, he's too busy trying to tell you about his past job as an exterminator. Okay, Mercer, I'm gonna back you up this time. That's the only time. <laughs> I understand that, right? You gotta handle some of these battles yourself, man.
Okay, since I don't have to worry about weak Keem Hello. Mercer out of the way! Fine. God, that's annoying. And that was me taking care of this one. You handle that one. Ow. Okay, honed weapons are nice, but uh I'm well beyond needing them for money. <laughs> So, yeah. I. About mid game. Is when I stop giving a crap about, um. Wow. About making sure that my gold count is good. Yeah, after a while you really. It's really unnecessary to keep checking on your gold or trying to sell loads of items. Yeah. Funny thing is, you can get the heavy armor in the game and still be... Ha. Ah. <laughs> and still be a nimble and silent thief. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. As long as you take the appropriate armor feats at the right points, you can pretty much handle whatever you want. Be a heavy armor rogue if you want. That. What the hell? Oh well. Derpy, du Derpy Draugr is dead. Derpy and dead. Yeah, it's, a, it's interesting to imagine um, somebody going around with huge plate armor with just like enchanted boots that'll muffle your feet whereas the rest of your body is going actually um, properly fitted armor shouldn't make any noise at all despite how uh, funky it is yeah actually because properly fitted armor will all fit together perfectly Ready. fair enough uh, Mercer, why don't you charge in there and distract them while I get in behind them? I'll, I'll even, Be I'll even send in. Thank you, Mercer. Wow. Goodbye. That's a Draugr Lord. Yeah, you don't hear him complaining. Okay. Ice and chip. Light armor increased. Yeah, properly fitted armor, no matter what kind of armor it is, will always fit together and make no noise when it moves. It can't be completely silent, though. Yeah, it can, actually. Ah, I've done it. Thank you, Mercer. That was very kind of you. He's paying you back for when you uh, snipe that guy off. Of him. Yeah, I guess. Elven armor. Ooh, very nice. I can enchant that and sell it for a mint. <laughs> true. Very true. And dragon work. Time for me to read for a while. Ooh, disarming weapons. Sounds like a nice word to share with people. Yeah. Wait, Unfortunately, they have to be an appropriate level for you to disarm them. Oh, thank you, Mercer. You make a very good companion. <laughs> Wait, when did I become the doctor? <laughs> well, no. If you were the doctor, it would be a female companion. True. Unless something there's something Mercer hasn't told us. Yee. <laughs> oh, hello, Puzzle Door. But we haven't run into any... In... Mercer? Please explain this crap. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic Puzzle Doors. How... Yes, it is. 
Without the matching claw, that experience with them, to open. you need a key. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Care to share with the rest of the class? No? Well, whatever, it worked. He needs to teach us that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, ow! What the... I'm sleepy. <laughs> Ugh, 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 Mercer? Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a is, clever is girl. Is that Carlisle Mercer? Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding <laughs> Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Could Gallus someone explain what's FD. going on, had to please? Do was look the other way. And also coffee. Nightingales. Did you expect him to simply ignore your or Red Bull. Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. Wait, what? I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Wait, Mercer's the bad guy? What? God damn. And he was so friendly, too. You never would have thought. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. Why do you need to be rid of me? Do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Wait, why? I, don't, I really don't understand, Brynjolf. Could you please explain? Wow! You bastard. Ow. <laughs> okay. Gonna kill Mercer Frey. Ow. Easy. Damn straight. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? Like I want to kill Mercer Frey? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. The poison on the arrow took me Welcome a year with a to bit of a headache, did you? I only had enough for a yeah. shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why do we need Mercer to capture Mercer alive? To answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus' murder. Oh. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. What's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Great. Enther. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. Nightingale, there what? three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, we need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. 
They may prove useful for your journey. Fine. I get it. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Speak only to Anthony. Trust no one else. Right. Don't even trust Carlia. Got it. Oh wait, we're supposed to trust Carlia. You gotta love those lines. Don't trust anybody. Not even me. Whatever. Although only an idiot or a villain will tell you don't trust anybody, not even me. <laughs> oh great! More of these things. I'll use the hot lady to take care of them. Possibly get a couple of souls while I'm at it. Hey, you come back here. Mine as well. What? Get over here. Thank you. Ooh, level up. I may need that in a second. Ow. At least I'm immune to my summon creature's fireballs. That's an ow. Ow! Level up time. Health. Let's see. Conjuration? No. Sneak! What can we get? Silent roll! Pretty high yes! There. Soon we will have silence, which completely muffles our sound no matter what. You will be muffled. First... Critical charge, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with sneak. I think. Oh no, lockpicks. Derp. <laughs> Come on. Die already, please. And soul captured. Alright. Since you asked so nicely. Isn't it nice how polite these creatures are? They die on command. I know, right? You might as well just open up with that. Hi, could you please die? <laughs> and it looks like this is the body that Mercer dumped Gallus. This is the whole Mercer dump Gallus' body down. Sorry. Damn that Mercer. Yeah, I'm, we're, we're gonna have fun killing him. We're probably going to have too much fun killing him. So let's, let's get this straight. You were, you're drug. You were drug. You woke up with a strange woman, and now you're wandering through snowy fields. Yep. Saying that you're going to kill somebody. Yep. <laughs> what? That's not normal? Are you watching Skyrim or The Hangover? Pfft. <laughs> uh, so you're saying that that isn't exactly normal? <laughs> it depends where you live, I guess. I mean, in Skyrim, that's probably, like, Wednesday. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a guy that you can have a drinking contest with. Oh, yeah. First, we're going to pickpocket her, and... Potions. Frostbite Venom's a good test. Uh-oh. Oh, yes, we're testing out the, uh... And it didn't work potion. for crap. Hell. Hell. Definitely not as effective as, uh, Are you? putting an explosive into their pocket. Yeah. Not nearly as funny, either. <laughs> Are you gonna come out? Hello? Fine. Where did you go? Uh, somewhere. Oh, there you are. Who's real funny? <laughs> and die. 
get the comic. Gold, lockpick, and nothing else worth having. And he's got blue mage robes. And a bunch of iron arrows that he can keep. Obviously a fellow arrow salesman's been through here. Indeed. He was successful, he managed to sell more than one arrow. Yeah, no kidding. Alchemy increased. Hard industry to sell product in. No kidding. Apothecary set. Ooh. I'll take those. Minor magic and replacement frostbite venom. And I think we're done with this area. So onward we go towards the remains of Winterhold. Find Mercer. Shakespeare. Well, no, we're not going there to find Mercer. We're going there we're to uh, translate Gallus's diary. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, hi guys. Vigilant. Well, hi, ZT Manning. <laughs> Goodbye, ZT Manning. Oh, hi, Goat. Hmm. You're not gonna shoot an arrow at it? Nope. For chance? I am, however, going to kill a lion, apparently. Oh, no, a bear. Kill bear. That way, later on, I can kill people with my bear hands. And also, Fusro Dab. Damn it. Die, bear. I said die. Thank you. wonderful. Well, we're almost there. So, this is Man in the Black Hat. And Obsessed Games. See you next time for more Let's Play Skyrim on ReZoWalkthroughs.com. Later. Bye.